start, ensure you have all the parts listed in the instruction manual. Firstly, separate the draw runners by pushing the plastic catch and pulling the metal sections apart. Then, screw the small part of the draw runners onto the draw sides labelled J and K. Use the screws labelled number 7. Repeat this stage for the large draw sides labelled O and P. Next, screw the metal dowels into the draw fronts as shown. It's best to sit the draw on a soft, non-abrasive surface as the high gloss white panel can be scratched. Repeat this stage for the large draw front labelled N. Now, push all the cam fixings into the large holes on the draw sides, ensuring the small arrow is pointing to the outer hole as shown. Push the draw fronts onto the side panels and tighten all the cams. Repeat this stage for the large draw. Next, slide the draw bases into the drawers and ensure they are pushed all the way into the groove in the draw front. Repeat this stage for the large draw. Place the draw back panels into position and secure using the screws labelled number 9. Next, insert the filing rods through the draw back panel and screw into the plastic socket in the large draw front. Put the drawers to one side and insert the wooden dowels into the large holes of the leg. Then screw the metal dowels into the small holes. Next, insert the cam fixings into the pedestal panel labelled part B. Push the pedestal panel onto the leg and securely tighten the cams. Now, screw the black metal plate into position using the screws and washers labelled 4 and 5. Then, screw in the 6 levelling feet as shown. These can be adjusted afterwards if the floor is not level. Next, insert 12 wooden dowels into the holes in the edges of panel C and D. Now, screw two metal dowels into the holes on the top face of part D. Push two cam fixings into the corresponding holes on the top face of part C. Then, push the two parts together and tighten the cam fixings as shown. Next, screw the remaining parts of the draw runners onto the side panels labelled part F and G. The screws are labelled number 7. Screw 12 metal dowels into the side panels and insert 4 wooden dowels. Now screw the remaining levelling feet into the side panels. The side panels should now look like this. Push the side panels onto part C and D as shown and tighten all connecting cams. Next, insert 8 metal dowels into the top panel labelled E and insert the remaining metal cam fixings inside the draw box. Push the top panel onto the draw box and tighten all the remaining internal cams. Now insert two wooden dowels into the leg and screw the support bracket into position using screws number 10. Repeat this stage on the draw box. 
Next, securely screw the small brackets inside the drawer box for added strength. Push the modesty panel into position as shown. You may need someone to help at this stage. Secure this in place using screws and washers labelled number 5 and 6. Carefully place the glass into the holes on the top of the cabinet. Two people are required for this stage as the glass is very heavy. Finally, install the drawers into the drawer box by firmly pushing them into place. Open and close the drawers to engage the runners. And the build is complete! To start, ensure you have all the parts listed in the instruction manual. Firstly, separate the drawer runners by pushing the plastic catch and pulling the metal sections apart. Then, screw the small part of the drawer runners onto the drawer sides labelled J and K. Use the screws labelled number 7. 